name is Robert. I'm with safeandboltstore.com and today I'm going to show you how to take a safe off of a pallet. There's a couple of ways to do this. <clears throat> this particular safe weighs about 375 pounds and it's right about on the edge of what a person can handle for a safe of this dimension to get it off the pallet safely. <clears throat> and so I'm going to show you the way to manhandle a safe off a pallet and then I'm going to show you a way that you could use some rollers and things uh, in, a, in a different video. So part two of this. So anyway, when you grab the safe, the pallet can move. So if you've got some foot inside the pallet, you'll be able to. The secret here is to do a twisting motion to get it loose and to get it coming out over the side of the pallet. So I'm going to stand in the pallet, I'm going to grab, and I'm going to twist. And you notice I put a couple blocks on the floor. I've done that so that I won't crush a toe or anything, and I'll kind of give it a softer landing than going onto a concrete floor. So I'm going to just hold it up, tip those underneath, and then I'm going to balance it on that. The other thing the blocks do is it makes the amount of distance it has to drop off the pallet. So right now, the safe is pretty well balanced. If it were falling over, then I'd have a tough time doing the next step, which is to kick the pallet out from underneath. So I'm going to balance it, and with another foot, I'm going to kick it out. Then I'm going to stand behind me there and put my weight in there, lower it down, and I'm almost to the ground. Now I'm going to lift on these hinges, lift back the other way, kick one block out, kick the other block out, and presto, 375 pounds safe off the pallet, not a lot of work. You have to have the physical strength to get it off. If you're a smaller person, uh, male, female, depends on what your capacity is. But if you can manhandle it off,